Blair? Yes, Father? Are you doing your homeschool work? Yes, Father, I am. You know, Dad, I would love to attend public school or any in-person school. Blair, we'll talk about this another time. But, Dad, I've been homeschooled my whole life. Blair, it's fine. We'll talk about this another time. Oh, I have an important call. I'll be right back. Okay. I just wish I could go to a public school. I just want that in-person school experience. Okay, I'm back. Now, what were you saying? Dad, I was saying I want to go to public school. Listen, Blair, you don't want to go to public school. Why? Blair, I'm a billionaire, and you're a billionaire's daughter. You don't belong in some public school. Please, Dad, please. Can I just try it out? Why do you want to go to public school so badly? Because I want to make friends. Blair, you have plenty of friends. Dad, all my friends are spoiled, stuck-up, rich brats. I want real friends, Dad. Well, if you go to public school, those kids are going to use you for your money. Not if I don't look like a billionaire or act like one. Please, Dad, please. Okay, Blair, fine. But it's not what you think it is. Oh my gosh, yay, you're the best dad ever. Okay, you start school tomorrow. Okay, I'm actually kind of nervous, but I'm so excited. I'm going to school. Oh my gosh, I'm finally going to make real friends and go to school. I hope no one judges me, or I hope no one figures out I'm a billionaire, because some kids might use me for my money. Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to fit in with all the other school kids. I've been homeschooled my whole life. It's finally time to see what real school is like. The next morning. Okay, I'm ready for school. These pants are so uncomfortable. I usually always wear designer, and I always wear expensive clothing. I never wear jeans. I always wear skirts and dresses, but I have to fit in. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Blair. Are you ready for your first day of school? Yep, I'm so ready. I'm so excited. Thanks so much, Dad. Yeah, we'll see how you like it. And are you wearing jeans? Oh, yeah, I am. Uh oh. You're always wearing skirts and dresses. I know, but I can't really wear my designer clothing at school. I want to fit in with all the other school kids. And I don't want anyone using me just because I have designer clothes. It's not that special anyways. Alright, well have a good day at school. I'm just so excited to make some friends. You know, Blair, not everyone's going to want to be your friend. There might be some bullies. Dad, it's fine. I'm nice to everyone. Okay, well I'll have the chauffeur drive you to school in the limo. Going to school in a limo? Yeah, you always take the limo places. Dad, I'm not having our chauffeur drive me to school in a limo. Um, Blair, why? How else are you going to get to school? Dad, that's going to cause a huge scene. I'll just bike to school. Or maybe take a bus. I don't know. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll take a bus so I'll be with all the school kids. All right, have a good day at school, Blair. Thanks, Dad. Bye. Oh, my bus is here. Get in the bus. Is this the bus for Brookhaven School? Yes, it is. Have you never seen a bus before? Uh, no, I actually haven't. Just get in the darn bus. Okay. Hi there, do you want to sit next to me? Yes, thank you. What's your name? My name's Blair. Oh, nice to meet you. My name's Emma. Nice to meet you, Emma. Oh, oh we're here at school. Wow, a school. Have you never seen a school before? Um, well, I've never really been to a school. I've been homeschooled my whole life. Oh, wow, that's cool. If you are homeschooled, why are you coming to public school now? I just want to try it out and make some friends. Nice. Well, I can show you around. That would be great. Thank you. All right, I'm going to show you to your locker. Come on. This is mine, and your locker is right next to mine. Great. This is math class. Ooh, I love math. Me too. This is science class, and then over there is English. Emma, thank you so much for showing me around school. Of course. Anything for my new friend. Oh, that's so nice. Oh my gosh, I finally made a friend. All right, let's head to class now, but make sure you watch out for the bullies in the halls. The queen is here. Sorry I'm a little late, Teach. I was at my nail appointment. That's the queen bee. Queen bee? Uh, yeah, do you call me? Oh, um, no. <laughs> Weirdo. Hey, Regina. Look, there's a new girl. Um, hi. Oh, so you're the new girl. Yeah, my name is Blair. It's so nice to meet you. I, I have to say, I love your outfit. Why the heck is this loser talking to us? Yeah, who even is she? I don't know. I've never seen her. Oh, I'm Blair. Yeah, you already said that. You're blocking my view, so go sit down. Get out of my face. Sorry. 
Yeah, you better be sorry. Uh, wow. Oh my gosh, I accidentally dropped my designer bag. Oh, here, I'll pick it up for you. Oh my gosh! Don't ever touch my designer bag with those greasy hands of yours. I'm so sorry. My hands are greasy. I was just trying to help. Well, I don't need your help, okay? Now get out of my face, nerd, and go hang out with your other nerdy friend. Like, gosh. I'm, I'm really sorry. I thought we could be friends. Girl, she will never be friends with you. Yeah, you really thought that we could be friends? Are you for real? Nobody ever wants to be friends with a new girl, especially a poor one like you. Okay. I'm so sorry. I should have warned you. Don't listen to them ever. I'm your friend and I'll always be here for you. Well, thanks, Emma. That's really nice of you. So I'm guessing they're the bullies. Yep, they are. And they are the meanest of them all. The next day. Hey, Blair. Oh, hey, Emma. How was your first day of school yesterday? I hope you had fun. Other than the bullies, it was great. I loved all my classes, and I made some other friends. That's really good. Those bullies bully me all the time. I really get it. All you have to do is just ignore them. Yeah, it's fine. All they say is that I'm a poor nerd. They say the same to me. Because you are a poor nerd, losers. Oh, great. Hey, losers. Hi. What are you doing in our seats? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know these were your seats. But there's other seats around the table. No, these are our seats. We sit here every day at lunch. Well, there's other seats. Uh, we should just move. Yeah, listen to your nerd friend, new girl. Emma, it's fine. They don't own these seats. Oh, the new girl's trying to act all tough. Don't try to act like that because my dad is super rich. He's a millionaire, and I bet you he could get you kicked out of the school. Oh, really? You don't even know who my dad is. Oh, I know. He's some poor man who's working two jobs. You don't know anything about my life, so just leave me alone. Fine, then I'll go sit somewhere else. And don't ever cross paths with me ever again. You're messing with the wrong person. Come on, Susie. Kenny! Oh my gosh, you just stood up to the bully. That's that's crazy. No one ever does that. They're all so scared of Regina and Susie. Oh, well, it wasn't that hard. And she really shouldn't talk bad about my family. She doesn't know my life. That's true. You know, Emma... I didn't want to tell anyone at this school, but we're best friends now, so I can trust you. I'm actually a billionaire's daughter. Wait, what? Really? Are you joking? Or are you being for real? I'm being for real. My dad's a billionaire. He's a CEO of a bunch of companies. That's awesome. And I understand why you didn't say anything, because some kids here at the school will definitely use you for your money. But I'm not like that. I'm a true friend. Thanks, Emma. How about you come over to my house after school? Okay. Hello there. Dad, this is Emma. And Emma, this is my dad. It's nice to meet you, Emma. It's really nice to meet you, too. Are you girls going to study? Yep. Okay, sounds good. Let the butler know if you girls need anything, okay? You have a butler? Yeah, we have a few. Have fun. I need to go to a business meeting. So, what do you want to do first? Um, we can go study. Or how about we go swim in the pool and then we can study? Sounds fun to me. Okay, this is the pool. Whoa, this is a nice pool. And you have a helicopter in your backyard? Oh, yeah. Your house is so nice. Thank you so much for inviting me over. Oh my gosh, I just had an amazing idea. Ooh, what is it? What if I threw a pool party at my house and I invited the whole school? Wow, that is a really amazing idea, Blair. But are you really sure you want to do that? Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. Okay, you should totally do it. Two days later. Hey, Emma. I just passed out a ton of invites for my pool party. Ooh, it sounds fun. Um, hey, guys. What do you losers want? Do you guys want to come to my pool party? The more people, the better. No. There's no way I'm coming to your pool party. Why would I ever go to a poor kid's party? I would never be seen somewhere like that. You're definitely going to regret that, Regina. No, I'm not. And what do you poor kids even do? Play with sticks? I bet you have one of those kiddie pools. That's not true. But whatever. Fine. I was just trying to be nice. You know, in the beginning, I thought we could be friends, but you've been bullying me the past week at school. Guess what? I don't care. Okay, loser. Now get lost. Whatever. Come on, Emma. Let's go. Yeah, go follow your little nerd friend, Emma. Regina, we should totally crash their pool party. Let's make a plan and then ruin it. Oh my gosh, Susie. That is the smartest thing you've ever thought of. Oh, thanks. Let's do this. I bet you she lives at some poor small house. Okay, it says the house is around here. Oh, I think that's it over there. Um, this definitely can't be it. It's way too big of a house. There is no way. 
Susie, you got the wrong address. How stupid can you be? No, I didn't. This is the right one. It says on the invitation. Let me see this stupid invitation. Also, it looks like they're having a party by the lights. Oh my gosh, this is it. There's no way. Did she like rob this place or something? Let's go see what's going on. This pool party is so much fun so far. You're going to be so popular in school now. Thanks, but I didn't throw this party to be popular. I just wanted to have some fun. Wait, turn around. Uh, why? What happened? Are you seeing what I'm seeing, Blair? <gasps> I know we were waiting for guests, but I was not expecting to see those guests. Me neither. I still can't believe they came. Um, what are you guys doing here? <gasps> Your outfit. That's designer. And your jewelry, it's all expensive. How are you decked out in expensive clothing? Um, I don't know. It's my clothing. Did you like rob a bank to get all this like expensive stuff? No, of course not. Is this even your house? Yeah, it is. My dad's a billionaire. Your dad might be a millionaire, but mine's a billionaire. <gasps> and you just assumed that I was poor. Do you want any friends? Maybe no, I don't want to be friends with you. You guys bullied me when I first came to school. Maybe you shouldn't have judged me. Uh, no, we didn't. And now you want to be my friend because I'm wearing expensive clothing? No, because... Girl, bye. You guys just want to use me for my money. But guess what? Emma's a real friend. Wow, I can't believe you guys. Please forgive us. We're so sorry. We just want to be your friends, you know? Do you have a private jet? And I saw all those cars in your garage. That's so cool. <gasps> you have a helicopter? No way. We should totally go shopping in Paris together. Um, no thanks. I'm going to go ask my security guard to take you out. Wait, what? Wh what? You can't do this to us. This is so utterly ridiculous. Come on, Susie. I'm coming and I'm sorry. Well, let's party. Yeah, let's party. So we hope you guys enjoyed this role play. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And make, and make sure you subscribe to see more role plays. Just like these ones, and remember to always sit together. Gaming, peace.